We're asked to simplify this monstrosity of a fraction with decimals inside of it. Now, first of all, I'll say the worst thing you could do would just be to start multiplying out everything straight. For example, multiplying in the numerator 0 0.0036 times 2.8. That would be a disastrous train wreck of a first move. Instead, what we want to do is be very clever about canceling and about simplifying decimals. And remember, we can simplify decimals if we move a decimal over the same number of places in a factor in the numerator and in a factor in the denominator. So for example, this point 0.1, I'm going to move the decimal to the right and move the decimal to the right here, so I get 28. I'm going to move this decimal two places to the right, move this decimal two places to the right. And then notice I have 4 and 28, so those are going to cancel and I'm just going to get 7. So let's just simplify. What are we left with here? We have 0.36 times 7. And then in the denominator, we have 1 times 1 times 0 0.003. So now I'm going to move the decimal of this three places over. That means I'm going to move this decimal three places over. That means I have to add an extra 0. And so now what I have is 360 times 7 divided by 3. I'll cancel. 360 divided by 3 is 120. Now I have 120 by 7. This is actually the only multiplication I have to do in the entire problem. This multiplies to 840. And this is answer choice A.